again, just as promised. Part 2 Mechanical for the average Joe. Yay or nay? Today we have here the contenders. Drums, please. Starting very low, but it will not stop you from go. Costing around 50 euros, dollars, depending on the country you live, it will not vary, uh, differ, differ, much. This is the most basic wireless keyboard plus mouse that money can get. And what do you get? Very few. It's light, depends on... One AAA battery and one single AA battery. Um, kind of low profile keys and no power button. Well, the mouse does have power button. Not bad. Next up. Oh. Away now. HP Business Slim costing around 40 to 50. This is a standard HP issue everywhere, mostly in corporate business. Like the name implies, it's very slim and laptop feel like. If you are into it and used to it, maybe you can type fast enough. What do you get? Same as before keyboard, dongle, and a mouse. This is a longer dongle. Dell does have a shorter dongle on their corporate, um, same objective keyboards um, and they have power buttons on the keyboard and the mouse. Huh, Dell getting the upper hand. How strange. It's uh, a little sturdier than the other one and assuming that you handle it normally, well, normally, it can last. Finally, my favorite, the Microsoft branded keyboard plus mouse set. You cannot find this model anymore. Uh, there are very, 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 very similar ones. The model 3050, and it should cost you around 50 to 80. Now you have an even sturdier keyboard with a rubber palm rest. The mouse is a lot heavier and have more buttons to navigate through windows. And this set, my set, lasted more than 15 years. Yes, this one. Well, the rubber, <laughs> the rubber palm rest is gone and it looks like wasted. The A key, um, it's worn off. Uh, it's a warrior. The keys are very soft, but clicky. It's not great for gaming, but I will speak very good of it. So take it with a grain of salt and keep in mind that when I bought this one, gaming keyboards were not a thing yet. What do you get? Very big dongle, it's connected over there. Uh, that fortunately you can store it right here, but not inside the mouse like Dell has. Dell again. Dell wins again. Hmm. 
the Microsoft set does not have a power button anywhere, which is kind of bad, but from my experience you will not need it. Uh, the batteries, uh, two double A's or two double A's will last quite a while. With moderate use, you can expect uh, moderate use four hours a day. You can expect um, up to six months. Respect. Uh, the cheaper one could get four months out of the batteries, and the HP is lasting about two months. And the Dell set, which I don't have here, but I do work with one every day, uh, sometimes can reach two months, but not always. Overs around one, one and a half. How do they stack against the ROG? Hey, 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 easy. The Strix Flare is a whole other level. This is not a membrane keyboard. It's rather a mechanical, let me take it out of the way, and very customizable. You can maintain it way better as well as change the switches, the mechanical switches, if you need to do so. Now grabbing this one, the ROG mouse, keep in mind, this is not a set, I bought them separately. Uh, it also has backup switches, in case of yours get worn off. Not much brand new. Mouses as this uh, from stock, not this one for sure. It also has extra navigation buttons, just like the Microsoft, and it has an exclusive DPI button. You can also store macros, light combinations, as well. I said in the first half of the video, and you can check it. The ROG software is pretty be comprehensive and will set free your imagination. The ROG keyboard and mouse feel premium, just especially compared with this one. But just look at the price, you pay much more, but you also receive much more. But enough of this. Let's type a bit on them. Let's go with the cheapo. Oh, oh, not good, but you get what you pick. How so? Mm, very squishy. Does not have an immediate reaction. Oh no. Well, uh, and the sound. Let me just try the mouse. The mouse is very small for my hand. The click is not. And the wheel, very squishy too. Let me just. Well, at least it has a battery. Uh, light. Okay, it's weak. Um, no, 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 no. You get what you pay. That's it. Oh, whoa, oh, wait. You have a place to store dongle. That's a plus. That's really a plus, guys. But on to the next one. HP. The dongle is so big. Why? And you don't have 
anywhere to put this. The veil just comes off and you store it on one side and uh, on and off. The peak is very low, expectable. The wheel. Hmm, normal. The feel, normal. Writing, still a bit squishy, not as much as the Chipo, but squishy. Uh, mm, no, 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 no. Let me try if I were playing. Mm. The feedback is awful, even worse than the cheap one. Well, it's quiet, at least. Well, it's for working. You get that. Let's go with the Microsoft. Oh, one more thing. It's sturdier, not bad. Oh, just a, the same flex as HP model, but okay here. And now let me. Oh yeah. Well, I used it for quite a while, so take with a grain of salt. Uh, it's more. It's, it has a feel, a, a more. There you go, feel. But still, a membrane keyboard. Not mechanical. Very low profile, not as much as the HP. Standard layout, lots of function keys, volume, paste, save. Zoom, calculator, print. Well, macro buttons. Well, can be quite good. Uh, the battery uh, led, the HP doesn't have it. The mouse also has a battery indicator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I don't know if you can see it. Um, well, gaming, of course. The mouse is a lot heavier. Well, it's not. Uh, it's not going to win any prizes while gaming, but it served me quite well for quite some time. Like I said, no gaming keyboards back then. But it still feels great. Sound of the keys are somewhat worn off. I'm for you. But ah, now let's go for the ROG. But that one. Not down here, it's up there. Let's check the ROG again. Not much multimedia buttons like you see in the Microsoft, but you have features that are unique. The cables are sleeved on both the mouse and keyboard. The cable on the mouse is detachable, and you also get a smaller one to use when on a laptop. You also uh, have extra uh, a carrying pouch that can be quite useful. Besides the RGB, you can custom your keyboard by changing the RG logo to something else. The feel 
is premium. It's very responsive, very clicky, with an excellent feedback. The USB is passed through, not a hub. Connect to its fastest USB port on your computer and you can hook up an NVMe external drive without any bottlenecks. The mouse is very comfy, but only for the right-handed. Changing RGB is also simple. The software also allows you to set up profiles for specific applications, like I mentioned before. And if you do want to see more, check the first part. Conclusion What do I recommend? You may ask. I think the video is quite self-explanatory. You have a budget? corporate, consumer and a gamer. Do you have a very tight budget or you are a Scrooge McDuck relative? Pick the cheapo! You don't fancy much and you are just working from home, nothing more? Well, you guessed it. Do you want more friendly and useful sets and you don't mind spending a bit more? The Microsoft can really do the trick. Lastly, you don't live without RGB. You don't live without click clack sounds. And by the way, it's music for your ears. And if you care about a bunch of extra features, get yourself an ROG. You don't have to buy uh, this one. There are plenty of models to choose from, even wireless. Well, these sets are wireless and that's the focus. And this is not the wireless. But you have plenty to choose from. Wireless, wired, and keyless whatever. But choose wisely. Don't go wasting your money without seeing this video and the first part. The first part. <laughs> As always, I hope you liked it. It's simple, down to earth review. Now, please subscribe to my channel. See you next time.